everyone and welcome back to Lori's Crafty Corner. This is the first ever layout for 2021 and it's for the Confessions of a Paper Addict design team. And I'm using the floral banner cut file. And I'm going to be using it a bit differently. I, I'm first going to be um, like marking where the cut file is going to be. Oops, so sorry for my head. <laughs> So yeah, that's where we're, um, I decided to place the cut file right in the center and I'm going to add lots of mixed media to it. I used v so many different colors. Um, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to forget them, but I chose a yellow, which, which is limon limoncello from Shimmers. I also used Pinco de Mayo from Shimmers, all of the colors that I'm mentioning are from Shimmers, and um, Slow Ocean. So what I wanted to do is to sort of create layers of mixed media. So I began with the lighter colors first, and I'm sort of, and I'm using the packaging technique to add in my colors. I'm trying to divide each of the colors um, around where, where the cut file is going to be. I then also add splatters with the same three colors and I chose these colors because I'm going to be using um, the Summer Market, I think it's called, um, collection by Simple Stories. I'll pull it up in a bit for you to see. So after, yeah, I'm like checking to make sure that everything's good, yeah, this is the um, collection some I think it's summer farmhouse by simple stories and I used the colors from the collection to pull out colors for my mixed media so while my first layer of mixed media is drying I go ahead I glue I start backing the cut file but I'm only going to back the bigger chunk of the banner because I really want the cut file to pop up from the mixed media but I also want to I want to have a place for the title so see that's how it's going to sort of look and then here's where I start with the second layer of mixed media now if you noticed I drew where the leaves and the flowers were and I'm just going to add like a messy blob of color beneath each of these flowers and leaves. So for the leaves I used key lime which is green. Here I'm using marigold which is like a gorgeous orangey color. I use tripping in the tropics, buddy's favorite color, and magenta to color the other flowers. And the gorgeous dark blue that you'll see me add towards the end is called anchors away. All of these colors, again, as I mentioned, are from Shimmers. And see, my cut file is not glued yet. I just have it lightly placed there, and I'm just adding color. I mean, I'm even like dabbing my my brush so that you don't get like that stark brush look. You get more like a yeah, like a blob <laughs> of color, for lack of a better um, word. So once I'm done with my watercolors, so to speak, I grab each of the colors again and start splattering splattering them um, close to where they are. So if it's green, I add a couple of splatters in green and in orange, red, and so on and so forth. And I just love how this layout turns out because once I pop up my cut file on craft foam, you get all that gorgeous color, you get the dimension. It's just, I love it. So while that dries, I didn't use any gesso, so it doesn't take a whole long, a whole while to dry. Um, but in the meantime, I start to work on my pictures. I decided to go with this like polka dotty yellow paper as a mat beneath my pictures because I, I always like to add mats to my pictures because when you're using lots of mixed media and lots of embellishments, it helps to make the pictures pop out and not get lost within the layout. 
So I also th then began adding craft foam to the back of the cut file. And really this layout took me around 35 minutes to make, including the drying time. So it was a quick, a quick layout and I just love how it turned out. I can't wait for you to see it. So there. I have added the cut file. I love how it looks. It's like, for me, it was like, okay, um, what do I do now? Because I don't want to cover up the background. But anyways, you know, I kept my embellishments to a minimum. I did use the center of the banner um, to add my title. And the title is Sunshine and Memories. And I used two thickers sunshine memories are from the same summer farmhouse collection and the ampersand is from chamel's um, field trip collection i go ahead and add the date beneath one of the flowers because that's where i'm going to later add in my journaling and i feel like super happy with this layout because not only was I able to make it in, in, in such a quick amount of time, but I also got my journaling in. Sometimes I don't have time to like sit down and get my journaling in, but this time around I did. And I'm super excited for that. So again, to keep things at a minimum, I just added a couple of chipboard stickers on top of the banner and then layered a couple of um, chipboard stickers and regular stickers to like beneath the cut file so to create a bit more foliage and then I also added a couple of these texty um, stickers to um, to the pictures and to finalize things up I just began to splatter anchors away again here are the close-ups guys I love how this layout turned out I hope I've inspired you to use lots of mixed media with your cut files. And yeah, guys, remember, check out the Etsy store at Confessions of, of at, it's called Coppa Cut Files. Um, it'll be linked down below. And be sure to pick up this cut file and check out the face, our Facebook group, Confessions of a Paper Addict, for some more awesome inspiration. Take care, guys, and I'll see you back soon.